there is to know which is the safest country in the world? It is none other than the United Arab Emirates. The UAE achieved this by defeating Singapore and many other popular countries. An amazing achievement for UAE, isn't it? According to an announcement made by officials on Sunday, 17th March 2019, the recent survey shows that 96.1% of UAE residents felt safe enough to walk outdoor at night. How could UAE attain this? This was possible only through government policies and strategies, artificial intelligence and smart services like apps to report crimes and accidents, GPS systems in patrol cars and face recognition to trace criminals from crowds, etc. As a result, road death rate reduced to 3.83 per 100,000 people and crime rates reduced to 0.8 percentage which is very low compared to other countries. Safety and security is one of the seven indicators of the UAE Vision 2021. But do you know what is the UAE Vision 2021? Let me explain. In 2014, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rachid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, launched a seven-year UAE national agenda leading to the UAE Vision 2021. So the seven indicators of national agenda targets the following seven areas education, healthcare, economy, police and security, housing, infrastructure and government services. All the best to UAE in achieving its twin vision 2021 which coincides with the UAE 50th national day. I believe you have heard about missiles, but what is a missile? It is a weapon that is self-propelled or directed by remote control carrying explosives to destroy a target. It is mainly used during wars to destroy the targets in land, water or air. But have you heard of a missile that targets a satellite? That's shocking, isn't it? On 27th March 2019, India shoots down a satellite in space using an anti-satellite missile to test its capability to destroy any satellite that might be of threat to the national security. This mission is named Mission Shakti. By, by conducting this test, India joins the elite space power club becoming the fourth country to have this capability after the United States, Russia and China. Though India considers it to be a great achievement, there is concerns over the space debris created by Mission Shakti. India's Chief of Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, emphasized that a low-altitude military satellite has been picked for the test in order to reduce the amount of debris left in space. Moreover, as per the calculation, the debris should die within 45 days. You can see, this is a good example for how scientific advancements lead to positive and negative impacts, isn't it? Have you heard of digital detox scam for students? Sounds interesting, isn't it? The name of the scam originates by the Delhi private school Sharjah to address the impacts of social media, screen time and smart devices on the mental health and well-being of children. The aim of the camp was to disconnect to connect and featured experts from various fields discuss the problems of and solutions to tech overload as well as hosting several activities for making children more social in a real and not digital sense. Dr. Mehnaz Ali said it is the studious students who are more prone to addiction to online network games and hence are more at risk of cyber abuse. Dear friends, Gadgets has been a part and partial of our life. But be careful, 
that is not dictate us or put under cyber risk. Do you think the internet is safe for kids? The answer is a big no. The good news is that the UAE's initiative to make internet safe for kids. Wonderful, isn't it? The Child Digital Safety Initiative was launched by the Ministry of Interior in partnership with the National Program of Happiness and Well-Being. The initiative aims to raise awareness among children about online threats and how to safely use online platforms. The four sections of the initiatives are an interactive children's camp for children between 5 and 8 to learn how to use the internet and social media, a digital well-being portal for parents and teachers, training workshops to help address digital challenges and threats, a support platform for parents regarding digital safety. I am sure you would have heard about Brexit numerous times in the recent past such as No deal Brexit fears rise. May plans rejects again. European Union is planning an emergency summit on 10th April 2019. So on and so forth. But what is Brexit? It is an abbreviation for British exit. So exit from what? Exit from the European Union. The European Union is a politic and economic union of 28 member states located primarily in Europe. It was founded on 1st November 1993. But two years back, your UK decided to withdraw from EU and the actual Brexit was scheduled to take place on 29th March 2019. Since no agreement was reached, the UK is given a new deadline of 12th April to come up with a way forward. However, UK PM Theresa May is facing a lot of setbacks from her own people on this move. So we have to wait and watch if Brexit will eventually happen. If yes, when?